Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. After his father died, BF30 male, reveal a devastating secret to me, 25. My partner, 30 years old, and I, 25 years old, have been dating for four years, having met in high school, I was in college. He was in grad school. We had a really loving and caring relationship, and we didn't have any secrets, or so I believed. When BF father died suddenly of a heart attack a few weeks ago, I was there for him and his mother while they dealt, cooking, cleaning, etc., all the things they couldn't do while grieving. I held BF as he sobbed, and I attended the wake ceremony. When everything was finished, BF told me he wanted to marry me, but he had to tell me the secret he was harboring since he didn't want to enter marriage with any secrets. The secret may seem little to others, but it was enormous and devastating to me. My BF met up with his ex-girlfriend once a month throughout the duration of our four-year relationship or more, I have no way of knowing. He maintains it was entirely platonic, that they simply met as friends, and that he considers her a sister. But even if that is true, it might be or it may not be. I have no way of knowing since I have no means of contacting her and finding out. He withheld this from me our whole relationship, so I feel like it is cheating, even if it wasn't physical infidelity. He confesses he was wrong and apologizes profusely. I told him I couldn't forgive him and that this was a huge betrayal, whether he cheated physically or emotionally, and that it wasn't just being friends with his ex, but also concealing it. He pledged not to do it again and to make amends to me in some way, but I have no clue how that is possible given that nothing can undo four years of lying. We hadn't met in person as of that chat, but I have things at his place and he has things at mine, so whether we split up or continue together, I will have to confront him again. So what should I do? I know the obvious solution is to end the relationship, but here. Is the person I love the most the one I meant to spend my whole life with, and a bereaved human being who has just lost his father unexpectedly and at a young age? I sincerely love him and realize that he is remorseful, but I don't believe I will ever be able to forgive him. Still, he is already severely damaged as a result of his father's death and entirely isolating him may destroy him. Even though I don't want to be with him anymore, I want to be there for him following his father's death, but I'm so depressed that I can't go through the day without sobbing and having panic attacks. What should I do? Update, I'd also want to thank those who pointed me where I went wrong. Every crisis has two sides, and no one is an entirely blameless victim. So I'll start this update by explaining where I went wrong. I apologize in advance for the length of this update. I did tell BF at the start of our relationship that I was opposed to establishing friendships with exes for a variety of reasons. Possibility of lingering feelings on either or both sides, mainly but also because I feel it is disrespectful to the new partner. As a result, BF understood he had to conceal his relationship with his ex in order not to lose me when we initially started dating. He then continued to conceal our friendship as we got more serious, owing to the fact that the longer you conceal something slash tell a lie, the more difficult it is to accept it afterwards. This takes me to the point where he went wrong. The deception spread like wildfire. Whenever I inquired about BFX, he would provide me with incorrect facts. He informed me she had the incorrect name, that she was a different ethnicity, and that she belonged to a different faith. This is why I couldn't locate her earlier to obtain her side of the story. He also miscalculated the length of their connection. He informed me they'd just been dating for a year and a half and it wasn't anything serious. They dated for about six years and were friends for over 10. This is why they are so close, and why he couldn't let go of his connection with his ex. They grew up together and entered maturity at the same time, so I suppose it may be a brother-sister relationship. Nonetheless, BF withheld having a girlfriend from EX in order to save her emotions and since she had initially begged him not to notify her if he met someone new. He had intended to tell her about me after she found a new partner but by then he had been seeing me for three years and it was too late to inform his best friend slash sister about his secret lover. So BF lied to both me and EX. And he continued lying because he had been lying for so long and was terrified to expose the truth. He claims he was just terrified and cowardly and that he wanted to save both of our emotions. But now he realizes he was wrong and must give us both the truth. This explanation seemed acceptable to me until I discovered the hidden Facebook. To rewind, from the beginning of our relationship, BF has said that he does not have a Facebook or any other kind of social media, 
and that he is passionately opposed to social media for privacy concerns. So I couldn't add him on Facebook because he didn't have one and refused to establish one. And he barred me from sharing any images of him or us on Facebook. As a millennial, I was irritated, particularly because I was just 21 and wanted to brag about my new lover on Facebook. But I gave in and didn't upload any images of him. And as time passed, I grew to appreciate his ideas on privacy and why not having a Facebook account was a wise decision. Except that BF did have a Facebook account. And he was Facebook friends with EX. EX had photos of him on Facebook. That's why he provided me a fictitious name, ethnicity, and religion for her. As a result, I was never able to access her Facebook page and see images of them together. Before he informed me about covertly seeing EX, BF deactivated his Facebook, but her Facebook and images with him are still up there Edit. She just deleted them. I wish I could view his Facebook too, so I could see the depth of their friendship and if anything did happen between them during my time with BF, which I assume it did. But his Facebook has now been erased, so I will never know. I have BX Facebook, but I have yet to contact her since, as far as I know. She is not involved in this. Her partner is aware of my boyfriend and their relationship. There are even photos of the three of them together. As a result, she was deceived about her closest friend slash brother having a girlfriend. If she had known, she may not have maintained the relationship or would have separated herself from it. That is why I am hesitant to approach her and create trouble when she has done nothing wrong to me. It's a petty thing to say, but the Facebook incident was the straw that broke the camel's back. Four years of wanting to write about my BF on Facebook, but being unable to do so since the EX had that ability the whole time. BF picked his ex-girlfriend over me. Of course, he doesn't see it that way. He promised that I was the most important person in his life, that he would never do it again, and that he would do whatever to make amends to me. He even said that he will never communicate with EX again. But I quickly realized that I didn't want that. She has been his friend for 10 years, almost like a sister to him, and to cut her off when she has done nothing wrong would be harsh to her and difficult for BF. I don't want to give her suffering or add to BF's sorrow, as he is already dealing with the death of his father, the temporary loss of his sister, who is angry he kept his girlfriend from her, and, most likely, the loss of his four-year GF. He's going to need all the help he can get. I was stupid to be so strict about avoiding touch with ex-partners. Maybe this wouldn't have occurred if I hadn't been there. He should not have lied, particularly for so long, but I understand. Why he did and how frightening it is to expose a truth after years of keeping it hidden. BF was aware that he may lose me, as well as EX, and that he had already lost his father, yet he decided to inform us both. That doesn't make up for what he did, but it is significant. Both BF and I have learned valuable things and will hopefully benefit from them, whether we do so together or separately. I've learned that absolute no contact with ex-partners is an immature, black and white approach to relationships, and that in certain situations, depending on the circumstances, you may maintain platonic friendship with your ex. I hope BF has learned that even while it is easy to lie and would save sentiments to lie, the truth is frequently the best choice for important issues such as visiting an ex, social media and so on. As a result of this discovery and the emotional impact, I've reconsidered keeping friends with exes, particularly now that I'm considering splitting up with BF. We were so close for so long, my whole post-adolescent life, that I can't image without having him in any way in my life. So now I see why individuals stay friends with their ex-partners, even if they can't maintain a romantic connection, even if they still profoundly love one another, as I feel BF and I do. My BF just lost his father, Therefore, I'm not going to stop communicating with him or break up with him right away, even though I'm not sure our relationship can survive this. I told BF that I would be there as a friend for BF, or ex-BF, if it goes that way, because regardless of what happens, I love him, and he is the closest person to me, and I'm not ready for that to alter for the time being. Thank you all one again.